Hey, hello tiny house people. This is Wayne, Wayne's tiny house. Uh, this is a uh, video of me building my dormer. I don't know which part, three, four, five. I, I lost count. I don't know how many days I've been on it. Um, and like I said before, I have never built a dormer on a tiny house. I've never built a tiny house. I've never built a dormer on a big house. So I'm just, you know, doing this as I go along. Um, I kind of knew how to draw it on the computer, on a piece of paper, but when it came to building it, it's like, okay, I'm scratching my head and my ass and whatever uh, other parts I have, trying to figure out what the hell to do, but now I'm getting closer. Step by step, I'm getting closer and closer, and I think I can pull this off. So the next step I've got to do is to uh, make some rafters. Rafters? You know, those things on the roof go like that. Yeah, rafters, like, like this. Now, I made this one earlier before um, I built the outer wall. And then I got a better picture of how to make these after I built the outer wall. So, what I have to do next on this one, I don't know if it's going to work. I'm going to try it. I've got to cut this piece out here. Can you see it? See? Can you see it? All right, I got to cut that, and I got to cut this, and you'll see how uh, it all unfolds or uh, goes together or doesn't go together. I don't know, but here I go. Oh, and if you're new to my channel, subscribe. Um, if you're not new to my channel, subscribe. I only got 18 subscribers. You can be number 19. Well, okay, I left out all the boring shit of these, making these rafters. Once you make one, you make them all, basically. Even though you make them individually, you gotta fit each one to its proper space. Now, normally you would not use two by fours for rafters. It's, it's totally ridiculous. But the span is so short between, you know, it's, it's uh, what, two and a half feet? Um, so, I do not, um, perceive a problem with that at all, especially 
with the steel hangers that are on there. That would be where the weak, weakest points would be, right there and right there. Now I'm confident that I could even put my ex-wife on this roof and it would hold up. Now if it wasn't for the, the snow in Connecticut, then I would say, ah, you don't even need supports. But if you get three feet of snow, followed by a bunch of rain that's going to freeze to change that three feet of snow to a two and a half foot of block of ice then you're going to have problems but before i get to that point i'm going to be uh, removing the snow from the roof uh, and perhaps bracing up down below through the floor until uh, all that snow snow or most of the snow is gone now I remember uh, at least three times in my over 60 years of living in New England where snow loads have taken down roofs. Taken down a Walmart roof, uh, the Hartford Civic Center, <coughs> roofs of factories and houses. And so that is a factor that you have to consider with any roof structure. But again, uh, with those hangers, I am confident that that's going to be just fine. I'm not recommending it. I'm just doing it. Uh, I just feel confident for myself. And I'm not saying you should do it. Now, the angle of these rafters <clears throat> is not what I designed in my build. But I made a little error, and I compensated for the error on the walls for the dormer and it ended up that the walls were higher in the front where the entrance is which was a benefit for me because it is giving me more headroom <clears throat> and still um, a, a pitch that will shed water and I'm not concerned about it plus I'm going to be insulating with uh, a rigid foam and um, that's not a concern for me either now the next step I have to do is figure out the transition from this main roof here to those rafters to the dormer. That's one of my next steps, or a next step, not the next step. Um, what I have to do next is, I don't know if you can see it, but put plywood on the outside of the vertical wall there and then sheath the roof and then uh, do the transition once I get my sheathing going here um, I'm getting some rain not right at this moment but I'm gonna get it tonight and I gotta figure out a way to cover this up now I bought a cheap tarp the tarp was not worthy of a life span of a year you get six months out of it you're all lucky the sun just eats those things up, <clears throat> at least the one I bought. So, when you're doing this, get yourself a quality tarp that's going to last you the length of the project. At least to the, to the point where you can seal up the building and not worry about putting a tarp over it. Another thing you should do when putting up rafters, or after putting up the rafters, is to install the hurricane ties. That way, if a good wind comes along, it's not going to rip your roof off or else you're at least going to have a fighting chance to stay on. So keep that in mind, too, when you're putting up rafters. Well, that concludes part three of me building my dormer. And as you can see by the picture, I'm a lot further along and I have many more videos to come. I am so far behind. In any case, um, if you this is the first time you viewed my channel, please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to um, yeah send me them. And in any case, um, I will talk to you later. Bye.